Hey, yo, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rika, Kodesh. I'd like to say double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, who rule well, teach well, being a great example to us, brothers. And peace and salutations to the whole full elect of Israel scattered abroad. To the speckled bird, I'd like to say Shalom, you Israelite foreigners, man. Uh, I just want to go into a a quick lesson on uh, prudence, being prudent. A man of the Lord is prudent. Um, and I want to just speak about my uh, encounter with the Indianapolis camp and those brothers, man. They're, they're mighty men of the Lord, and you can feel it. You can feel it, man. Um, that's why it's so important to get around men. Because, like myself, you might be lacking confidence in certain areas. You may be lacking in this area or that area where you might not even know it. That's why it's so important to get around like-minded men in these last days, man. It's very, very important. And I just want to go into a quick lesson. I want to get the word prudent, right? I got it pulled up right quick. The word prudent. I don't know if you can see it on there. But this is the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary real quick. <clears throat> I need to wipe that off. Uh, let's see. Yeah. The word prudent, right? <clears throat> let's go back. The word prudent, right? And we're coming to some times, man. And we're going to have to put these things. We're going to have to put these things uh, that we have learned. We're going to have to put them. The Lord's going to test us. Test your integrity. Test if you've really been listening. Test if you, you've really been paying attention, man. You know? It's going to be a quick lesson right here. So the word prudent, it says characterized by arising from or showing prudence, prudence, such as A, marked by wisdom or judiciousness, prudent advice, B, definition shrewd in the management of practical affairs, being in order. Practical affairs. You know how to manage things in your life. You know how to be temperate. You know how to be, um, you know, you know how to do things. See, become like what the Western told us, as in becoming a man, like they didn't tore us all up, man. They don't show us how to be real men. That's why you got to get around real men to feel that in your heart. And Lord willing, I get back around those brothers real soon, man. Maybe not this weekend, but maybe uh, the one after it or the one after. Lord willing. But those those are mighty men in the Lord, and you can see it. They're all huge. and They're all freaking huge. I thought I was strong, man. These guys are freaking huge, man. Okay? All the mighty men of the Lord are huge. They take the scriptures seriously, man. Okay? So it says, let me get that word prudence real quick. Prudence, the ability to govern and discipline oneself by the use of reason. The ability to govern and discipline oneself by the use of reason. And I love that. That's why I wanted to do this video. The ability to. The, the definition of prudence in the Merriam-Webster, right? The ability to govern and discipline oneself by the use of reason. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful, man. Because you got to be able to discipline yourself. You got to be temperate in all things. You got to be able to use wisdom in this walk, man. And you're not going to always get it by yourself. You're going to have to be around men that have used wisdom, that have tried wisdom. 
and wisdom have tried these men. Testing their integrity, testing who they are. What kind of fruit are they? Then you get around these men and they teach you these things. They may, they may get on your ass. They may rebuke you or whatever it is. But those are the things that we need, man. It's all coming from the Lord. It's not coming from men. It's coming from the Lord. So I want to start off with a scripture here. In the book of Proverbs chapter 22 and 3. And it says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. Yeah, man. We can see what's going on. We can see what's about to happen next. We can see that this place is crumbling. We can see the dollar crashing. We can see a famine of the word approaching. A famine of bread approaching. Dollar uh, prices of the gas, prices of food. Everything keeps on going up, man. People are struggling out here. People are struggling to pay their rent, struggling to pay their car notes, struggling to put a few dollars of gas into their cars, struggling to pay everything, man. So a prudent man, okay, foresee if the evil and hide of himself, man. But the simple pass on and are punished, yeah, because there's a lot of people out here that are simple and they're just passing on to be punished, man. They're not really paying attention to what's going on in the world, man. They're not paying attention to the signs that the Lord is sending. Verse 4, by humility, by humbling yourself, man. Humility, man. A lot of guys aren't humble. A lot of people aren't humble out here. They won't humble themselves down to receive discipline. They won't humble themselves down to receive the Lord because it's easy to go off and, and, and commit a crime it's easy to go shoot somebody and go to jail it's easy to do all these things but it's hard to really do something in your life that's going to actually make a change for for, 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 for you and your future with the Lord yeah, I'll never I never forget uh, a, a lesson that the elder Shazak out of uh, Mississippi, uh, him and the elder Ayash out of Mississippi, I think they made a lesson about three years ago. And it was called, uh, this is not a cakewalk, man. This, this truth ain't no cakewalk. This is a very, very hard walk. And men choose to do what they will in this walk because they don't want to come up under order. But I'm going to tell you right now, brothers, that order is very, very important. It's very, very important, man. If you if you had a if you had a, a, a set of plants, right? You got plants in your home or you had a garden. Well, if you don't water them on time. If you don't maintain a perfect order, then those plants are going to die. What did the Lord say when he, he walked up to that fig tree, man? When he was hungry. He was pissed, man. And he made that mug wither. Because it was out of order. So a lot of lessons about order has been going out. And in prudence, you're going to be orderly. You're going to want to go to the camp. You're going to want to actually prove to men of the Lord that you are a man of the Lord. And not prove it to them because you, know, you need to prove it to the Lord. Prove it to yourself. You see, a lot of words can be said. A lot of words can be said. But who are you behind when the camera goes off, man? Who are you in this world? It's a whole lot of narcissistic, whatever that word is, narcissist behavior going on in Israel. I don't even know what that word means. Let me look up that word real quick. Narcissist. 
an individual showing symptoms of are affected by narcissism, an extremely self-centered person who has an exaggerated sense of self-importance, man. An exaggerated sense of self-importance. Like you think you you think you Billy Badass or something, man. You don't you don't wanna you don't wanna do what you know needs to be done because you feel like you've already got there. But the Lord is providing a different way, just like the elder in Indianapolis, he was bringing up Jethro whenever, you know, um, Moses, you know, uh, Jethro came and told Moses, well, you gotta, you gotta order these men. The Lord deals with men. The Lord ain't going to deal with you, brothers, by yourself. He ain't going to come. You'd be scared. You'd be freaking out, man. You don't want to deal with the Lord. He deals with men. So I'm going to go to my next scripture here. It's in the book of... Uh... Actually, let me finish that Proverbs 22. And I'll start at 3 and 4 again. A prudent man foreseeth the evil. We see the wars coming. We see the bad times coming. We see all these things happening. They're going to happen. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Okay? By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Let's go to Proverbs 14 real quick. Just a few scriptures on you know, prudence. Fourteen and fifteen. And I wrote. I wrote these lessons. I wrote it down. But just a few scriptures, not in any particular order. Um, but it says Proverbs fourteen and fifteen through sixteen. The simple believeth every word, but the prudent man looketh well to his goings. Like we got to look well to our goings, man. All right, you know, you, you got to have in your mind, like, all right, well, I need this kind of discipline in this area. I need to be temperate in this area. You know, let me look up that word temperance real quick, man. I need to, I need, I need to take better care of my body. I need to, I need to do these things, man. Okay, because that's going to help me to make it, man. Lord willing, the Lord knows who, who's his, but, you know, we can do things, man. We can do things that'll help us. The word temperance, moderation in action, thought, or feeling, re restraint, restraint, watching our mouths, watching the things that we put inside of our body, like the elder from Orlando put out a beautiful video the other day and it didn't even get that many views. I was watching to see how many people would tune in. But it was only a few of us that tuned in, man. It was only a few people that tuned into that beautiful video that the elder in Orlando did. Speaking about uh, self-development, uh, self-discipline discipline on ourselves being temperate i forget what it was called but it was beautiful it should have been thousands of guys tuning into that video but that's why the lord does these sort of things because a lot of guys are just watching for entertainment they're thinking that they're the man already they don't want to take discipline from a from a man of the lord Temperance, moderation in action, thought, or feeling, restraint. Habitual moderation in the indulgence of the appetites or passions, man. Yeah. That's right, man. Moderation in or abstinence from the use of alcoholic beverages. And that can just, that don't got to just be alcohol. That can be anything, man temperance that's what the lord is speaking on 
That's what I want to get into some of these scriptures, man. Let me go to the next scripture real quick. This is Sirach. The book of Sirach, chapter 18. I'm just going to hit it rapid fire real quick. Sirach 18 and 27. And then I'll skip back to verse 21. So we got to watch what we're doing out here, man. Watch what we're taking in. Watch our mouth, what's coming out. We got to watch ourselves, man. So rock 18 and 21, humble thyself. No, let me go to 27 first, but that 21 is cold, man. Sirach 18 and 27. A wise man will fear in everything. And in the day of sinning will beware of offense. But a fool will not observe the time. Don't be no fools out here, man. Let me read that again. Sirach 18 and 27. A wise man will fear in everything. Everything that he does. He's going like King David did. He goes to the Lord. To make sure, hey, Lord, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do, you know? King David would go to the Lord. Should I go up to battle now? He would ask the Lord. How many of us is doing that? A man after the Lord's heart, man. You know? A wise man will fear in everything. And in the day of sinning will be aware of offense. But a fool will not observe time. Sirach 18 and 21. Let me go to 21. Humble thyself, man. And I speak that first and foremost to myself. Now, I recently became a, a, a member of GMS through the Indianapolis camp. Okay, they, they said that I can go ahead and put the title on because, you know, hey, we're living in those times. Brothers need to uh, 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 separate themselves from other peoples, man. We need to know who's who. Okay. And I'll gladly take that. And I'm not I'm not proud. Matter of fact, whenever that happened, it made more fear of the Lord in me to say the right thing, man. I'm scared. I'm scared because there's going to be examinations, man. There's going to be tests. There's going to be things going down, man. And it's all from the Lord. It's not from men. It's from the Lord, man. It's from the Lord. Who sets up these men. You know, a lot of a lot of Israelites are, are moving carnally instead of spiritually, man. They got all these scriptures. I don't I don't got that many scriptures. Like I told the elders, I, I only know the milk, man. I only know a few things. I know I know a few things that are tough. But what is that gonna do? For people who are coming in, we, 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 like the elder says, back to the basics. Sometimes you got to go back to the basics, man. You got to be okay with that. You got to be okay with being rebuked, being reproved, being watched, being examined. You got to be okay with that, man. So all praise on the glory to Yahweh Bashimi Shai for the opportunity, man. Sirach 18 and 21, humble thyself before thou be sick. A lot of people are sick, man. And in the time of sin, show repentance, man. Let nothing hinder thee to pay thy vow in due time and defer not until death to be justified. Don't be like Charleston White and Anton Dalton and all these guys, man. Don't be like those guys, man. Oh, I'm going I'm to I'm repent later on. I'm gonna act like I'm big and bad, and I'm the leader of this group, and I'm the, I'm the, I'm the best ever. No, man, just humble yourself, man. Just, you know, the scriptures tell you when not, when, you know, when it, when the time comes for you to be teachers, you have need for one to teach you again. Beautiful lesson the elders went over the the brothers in uh, Great Millstone, Indianapolis, the last the camp that I went to. That was a beautiful lesson, man. Beautiful lesson that them brothers brought out, man. 
And I tell you, them brothers, I know that they men of the Lord, man. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Eh? Those are men of the Lord for real, man. That's why it's important to get around mighty men of the Lord, man. You know? Verse 23, Sirach 18 and 23. Before thou prayest, prepare thyself. And be not as one that tempteth the Lord. Think upon the wrath that shall be at the end in the time of vengeance when he shall turn away his face. That's right, man. You know, we got to be humble in this thing, man. We, we, we really got to examine ourselves daily, man. I see that first and foremost to myself, man. I'm not speaking just to anybody, man. I'm speaking to myself first, bro. You know? Let me get a few more scriptures and then we'll close it up. This is Amos 5. In 13, it says, therefore, the prudent shall keep silent in that time. For it is an evil time. Don't you see what's going on out there? Just last night, the past 24 hours, I seen like 12 shootings. You know, a, a woman going by and shooting a baby. All types of horrible things are happening in the world, man. I don't know if you've seen it, but I'm seeing it right now. It feels like the Lord is getting closer and closer. He's getting madder and madder and madder and madder and madder. And it's only a matter of time for he going to show up to somebody that you're close to. Or might even yourself. If you're not right, man. It's only a matter of time. Therefore, we, we need to take these scriptures seriously, man. You know? Take them serious. Take this serious. This is... This ain't no game, man. You know? This is uh, Isaiah 5. Isaiah chapter 5 and 20 through 21. And it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. And that's a lot of people out here, man. Don't you see these people, man? The Lord is drawing closer and closer, man. People ain't ready. People ain't got no funeral expenses. People ain't got no money. You know, people are walking around knowing that they're about to die. They, they know that they done did all types of shit in their life. And they still refuse to pray to the Lord. Two-thirds of our people, man. People that might be in your family, they see you, they look at you and like, man, you look healthy. You look good. What you been doing? I've been preaching. Been going out there, present my body as a living sacrifice. What you been doing? Nothing. So we have a beautiful thing here, man. And we need to stay in the right lane. We need to know our lane. We need to discover our gifts. Ask the Lord what your gift is. And stick to that thing, man. Be in communication with the brothers. Always communicate. Tell the brothers you love them for real, man. Love on your brothers, man. Pray for your brothers. We come into that time. You better not have no art against your brother, man. You better not have no art against your brother in your heart, man. You know? Even, even the brother shopper, man. I'm, I don't want to speak about it no more. But you know, I forgive you, brother. I, I, did, I never had anything bad against you. The only thing I, I was just mad about certain things. But all we hope for is brothers to repent, and we got to continue to repent. We ain't perfect. We ain't shit, man. Don't ever think that you somebody, man. Don't think that you somebody, man. Lord, to get your ass too, man. Isaiah 5 and 21. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight, man. That's right. Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. Let me go a few more seconds, a few more minutes. Isaiah 55 and 6. And it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. 
call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? You better seek the Lord. And how is the Lord near? The near? He's near through his prophets. You see the prophets out here. You see the word of the Lord manifesting throughout the earth. You see everybody's calling on the name of the Lord. It says, verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him into our power for he will abundantly pardon. Yeah, man, the Lord, amen. You know, stop calling evil good and stop acting like you don't know what one plus one is, man. Book of Philippians. Book of Philippians, chapter 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You know. A man of the Lord is always going to be aware. He's going to be aware of offense. He's going to be aware of what's going on, man. You got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to watch your mouth. You got to watch how you treat people. You got to watch how, how, how you, you can't be too puffed up, man. Or the Lord will, uh, I think it's called deflate. He will deflate your but he'll, get, he, 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 he'll show you who the boss is, man. And he's doing that every single day, man. This is James 1 and 22. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, man. Deceiving your own selves, man. We always got to examine ourselves, man. Deceiving your own selves. Don't be, de don't be deceived by your own vain imagination like you. Oh, the Lord working with me. The Lord doing this. No, nah, man. No, we, our righteousness is just filthy rags, man. You better be afraid that you might make the wrong mistake. That you might say something. That, that that's gonna mess your butt up, man. You better be afraid of it, man. Be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man that beholdeth his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh unto the perfect law of liberty, not using your liberty for a cloak of malicious maliciousness, man. And continueth therein, he being not forget not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. All right. This man shall be blessed in his deed. We got two minutes left. Wisdom of Solomon. Rapid fire. With some Solomon chapter 6 and 12. Actually, pretty much that's it, man. I'll read Wisdom Psalm chapter 6 and I'll start at 17. It's talking about wisdom. It says, For the very true beginning of her wisdom is desire of discipline, being disciplined, man. Being prudent, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide from himself. And the care of her. Discipline is love, and the love is keeping her laws and giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption, and incorruption maketh us near unto power. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. The desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. I want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this message was edifying. Shalom.